everyone so this is how I'm starting my day here I ended up doing my grout I finished everything um, put my I believe it's my third or fourth coat there I still need to wipe it off uh, but I did my first door here put my handles um, did use this uh, silicone here the GE silicone for a window door it's a indoor outdoor so I think it should be good and uh, here's basically one door there and so you just go ahead and slam it shut and I'm gonna do my outlets with my weather covers uh, my sink and my barbecue should be in here in a little while I just want to vacuum all in there and there install the sink the plumbing before I do that door I'll end up installing my little cabinet there. Um, everything's coming along. Two drawer cabinet here. I end up putting a bead of silicone around on the back side. Um, so I have my silicone there. Just ran a bead all the way in the back. Put, put big blobs at least on here just so I can catch the tile. I'm also going to go back and to the top here on the sides but I'm not really too worried about um, but I did put silicone on it under it but not worried about putting on the outside so in here see I have my little holes here once I removed my um, drawers so I'm gonna go ahead and put my screws there there and there and there and that's what holds the the drawer After it's all said and done, go ahead and put the handles on. You can see it drove myself to it. You can barely see it right there. But it's just this is holding it, holding it down. Um and I still haven't read my bee of silicone here, but I'll only leave that last so I could uh cut the tip on the silicone tube to the very finest point so that way you won't you won't even be able to notice a difference here I don't want to throw a big bead of silicone just very very small just to help it um, with with the water penetration I just don't want any water getting in the back and potentially ruining my tile job here um, so I'm gonna go ahead and install this one here it's the same process but this one I'm gonna show you a little silicone um, on there and here's my door I ended up taking out of the package here just go ahead and wipe the edges right here and right here as you can see this one has the for the screws on the ends um, now I did put tile so that's gonna bring me back a little bit um, but I'm able to put screws um, just to kind of hold it in place and by the meantime the silicone dries here Hey, good afternoon, guys. So here's the almost final product here. Set up the couches. I picked those up actually for free. They just need a good washing. Um, so I ended up putting these waterproof covers here. So I have, see there are my outlets there. Um, one thing to remember about the, when you're setting these up, always remember black with gold, white and silver. So that's the black is your hot, and then the white's your neutral. Um, so just remember, that's the easiest way I remember how to do it. Um, so I set up my door already, my barbecue, got all my outlet covers, got all these going in here. So, it's good. so I have some of my barbecue stuff in here. I still need to do the final wipe down and everything. Um, so here's on this side here. Uh, Let's see, so I have my water supply there. I'm not using a hot, so let's see if I can get a good picture of it. There it is, our video. So you got your, the valve, that's a half inch, half inch to I think the three eighths uh, compression. I have my GFCI, so I need to get a cover for that. I have, I put another outlet in the back side. I still need to find, um, basically from, 
from the drain here. I need to find some type of connector there, but that's no biggie. Good trip to the hardware store will fix that. Um, here's my sink. I still need to do my stucco to the back side. Um, I got this from the inside. I actually replaced my interior sink and faucet. So I ended up just using my faucet from, from the inside there. And, uh, you know, it's gold, but it is what it is. It was free, so I don't have to pay for it. Um, so here's my barbecue here. Uh, st installed all my grates and the diffusers and all that into it. Um, down here, I have my gas tank here. I think I'm going to put another one on this side. I have some of my vents over there on that side. So I'll go ahead and show you. Um... I got my smoker on the end. So on this side, I still need to do the stucco over here, but that's that's my very last thing to do. Um, so once the stucco, I'm gonna go ahead and tape tape the inside of of the vents there. Do the stucco around, and then took the tape off, and it'll give it the clean look. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my next video on the stucco on the back part. Um, so. There you guys go. Don't be afraid to do something. I think just a professional could do it. And yeah, I did work as a mason for about six, seven years, but but that didn't. We didn't set any tire or anything like that. Um, so the concrete was a little easier for myself. Um, but it's very, very satisfied with it. I'm very happy. And we'll definitely enjoy a lot of moments over here. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to uh, DIY Eddie. Today is, as you can tell, stucco day. So this is the stucco I'm using. This is a high, super high yield stucco. Um, so this is a scratch brown or finish. Coat, and I'm just gonna finish the back of since I don't need a scratch or a brown coat. I'm just basically going over the board, the cement board there. But uh, so I have my mixer with my paddle there, my green sponge, which is basically like a real soft sponge just to bring out all the aggregate knee pads, gloves, safety glosses when you're mixing. Um, it's the same trail I was using for the countertops. My corner edger here, this just came with the kit that I bought. Well, it wasn't really a kit. Anyways, so I'm going to try to see if I can finish it with the little corner edge there. Um, instead of having a sharp corner. But uh, mainly with this, you need to build up with your brown coat. And then the brown coat will give it support. So I'm not sure if this is going to work. Um, bucket. I always pre-wet everything. Um, so this on my back side. Went ahead and wet it down. As you can see on the far side it's starting to dry up. So it's soaking it in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and mix and start uh, applying here. It's the same process as thin set, but this you just want to get it as flat as you can. So I'm going to go ahead and start in a piece and then uh, show a little bit and continue on. Okay, so here I have started a little bit. Uh, there's some uneven spots. Well, once it starts drying a little bit, you can work it out. And then the sponge is really going to help it out, um, even it all out. But uh, since I don't have my tool to get it out of the bucket, uh, which is basically like a soda can or a metal tin can attached to a piece of wood that's cut in half. Uh, kind of like a scooper. Um, but on here, basically, let's see if we can get the good angle. Let's see. Go ahead and put that right there. So you start at the bottom, work yourself up, try to even it out. See an uneven spot there, so you go ahead and bring it this way. And, uh, Basically, that's it. So you still got a little bit of low spots there. So I'll work those a little bit better. Um, but it's coming along. 
So I'm about halfway down with this side, I haven't started on the other side. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and continue. Okay, so I finished putting my stucco all the way around. Now I'm grabbing my sponge. I let it dry maybe about 20 minutes to where it's, um, you know, you can't make an indent when you're pushing it like that. Um, and you just grab your sponge here. You want to make sure you wet it. I already have some there, which I did here. And uh, it's kind of hard to see there. But I did this first part here. You can see that you don't need to be perfect over here. Just have enough coverage of the stucco. Because you get, with the sponge, you can bring all the aggregate out. And you're able, you're able to smooth out the, the imperfections. And you won't be able to notice it as much. Um, and this would just be like a like a brown finish I guess with all the aggregate instead of being a smooth set because this stucco is a, a fine fine stucco it's supposed to be a, like a smooth set stucco but uh, I continuously um, washed all the aggregate down off of here it helps if you have a bucket that we could just dip it in there and you're able to shake it off and uh, looks nice I chose this color they have white as well and you could always dye or um, put the different colors into the stucco to change the different colors um, they have the little mixing bags uh, but I wanted gray that way I don't have to touch it I don't have to do anything to it once it dries it sets everything is good I don't have to worry about it and uh, I did put my outlet uh, you see it a little bit there and that's right there I did that from the inside that was kind of like a last minute change because when it's dark out these are the only ones that I have here um, and uh, on this side I have my little torches uh, but I do want to put string lights across here and here and that way I would just be able to put it with the outlet there instead of running it from one of these just want to show a little bit of the process here um, so you can see here, I still haven't done it there. I've done it all the way across. You can see that most of it, I still have a couple pieces like down there and a little bit here. So I'm just kind of rubbing it across like this. See like, um, see like this piece here, you can really tell. And uh, once you go ahead and run it with the sponge here, just back and forth, you don't want to do it too rough. You can see that piece is gone and now you have the aggregate shown and that's just going to be all the way to the back nothing fancy just uh, something that make sure that uh, whenever it rains it just kind of protects it okay so here's on this side here and as you can see here like I got some spots there I had a couple little spots there I'm just letting those dry and uh, that's why I like to wait till it's firm to the touch. That way you could always add a little bit more. But uh, it's nice and clean there. And once I finish that, I'll go ahead and clean it up, sweep, and it'll be ready to go. And that'll be my last step there. Um, on these grates, I just put the screws in into the wood and I ended up, I mean, not into the wood, I'm sorry, to the cement board and then in the middle of them they're catching studs so the middle screws so it's not cleaned off yet but uh, the middle screws there are in the studs and the other ones have anchors on them uh, just regular wall, drywall anchors uh, I didn't see a need to put uh, any more studs there you could if you want to but I didn't see a need since the center was already grabbing there's no load on that it's just basically vent ventilation for the gas barbecue um, so I'm gonna wait until that until like those pieces and over there on the back side I have a couple of them uh, until they dry enough and I'll go ahead and hit them with the sponge as well I just saved a couple of my stucco onto uh, in my bucket just for that purpose that's why I didn't use a bucket for the when I was doing the 
aggregate with the sponge, with the float sponge. All right, so here's the final product here of the stucco. Went ahead and vacuumed all the bottom there. I have a couple spots that I've uh, dropped a little bit of sealer, but I'm not I'm not too worried about it. Um, it'll give me this will at least give me a protection against any kind of weather. Um, I didn't end up putting tape on on the grills. I just wiped it off with the sponge before I before it dried here. So this so it looks really good. And finally I got my plumbing in and got my sink there. So still needs to run a lot more water, but let me have my drain going down. And that goes down there. And then down here I just have my little trap there. I just get a little extension and then you have I have a nighty over here on this end, just facing down. And uh, still haven't got a cover for that, but that's, that's down under. Uh, next time I go to the hardware store, I'll go ahead and pick, a, pick up a good cover. Um, electrical works, everything works. Happy how everything turned out. Until next project, thank you for watching.